Continuing on with strings, um, I want to point out the usage of the function strcmp, string compare. And then there's another version, strcmpi. And so what string compare does is, is that it allows you to look at two strings of different lengths. And I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, this one is case sensitive. And this one is case insensitive. And I'm going to motivate this, and then just for clarity, stands for string compare. And I'm going to motivate this um, with the following example. If I have variable a equals all, and I'm comparing lowercase t e c h to uppercase, excuse me, to lowercase t e c h, that's going to give me a logical true. If I have variable B equal to all, and I have string TECH compared to string BUZZ, that of course is going to give me a logical zero. <laughs> if I have the following, TECH is that equal to TECHIE, -E, that of course is going to give me an error. The reason why is because in order to use this equal equals, these two strings have to be the same length, just like if they were vectors of numbers, they would have to be the same length, and these are not, so it's going to give you an error. Also, if, if I did TECH equal equal capital TECH, then this is going to give me a logical zero because this lowercase t and that uppercase t are not equal to each other and so uh, this will be false. So I want to take these cases here and I want to look at each one um, a little bit further. Now the reason it's motiv you're motivated to use string compares, let's say I was doing something where I had a user input or somewhere in my function or script there was a calculated value of a string and I wanted to uh, compare that to another string. Well, as long as those is with A and B, as long as those strings are um, of the same length, A, B, and D, I can do that. But if my user puts in a string that's not of the proper length of what I'm comparing it to, then I'm going to get an error. String compare doesn't give an error when you're when you're comparing two strings of different lengths. It allows you to compare two strings of different lengths without giving an error. And that will keep your code running, which is a much more favorable, favorable situation. Also, the string compare i allows you to pair, compare strings of different length, but it also allows you uh, to ignore case. Sometimes uh, you don't really care what the case of the letters are in the string. All you care about is are they uh, the same letters, uh, are they representing the same letter. And so string compare uh, with the i on it allows you to do that. So that's sort of the motivation um, of these two. So let's um, let's go to MATLAB and look at this a, a little bit in more depth here. So now I come to MATLAB and I've got my breakpoint set. And I start execution of this script. As you can see, this is going to generate logical true because TECH does equal lowercase TECH. Uh, line 7 will do a logical false because the string tech does not equal the string buzz. I commented out line 8 because it's going to throw an error um, because um, these are not of equal length and it will throw an error. I commented out because I didn't want it to stop the execution of me stepping through the code here. Uh, and then if I do the last one, uh, it also gives me a logical zero because uh, lowercase t-e-c-h is not equal to uppercase t, lowercase e-c-h. So I showed this as an, 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 I expanded this a little bit more, lines 11 through 14. I set a variable pwd equal to uh, capital T, let me set it equal to lowercase t-e-c-h the first time I run it. In fact, let me remove my breakpoints here, and I'm going to remove my breakpoints, and I'm going to come back in here, comment all of this out here, 
And I'll come back in here and I want to run this repeatedly and change the value of TECH and see what the variables F, G, and H equal. So on line 12, I'm setting F equal to uh, all of PWT, PWD equals uh, TECH. Uh, and so we'll look at how that plays as we change the value of TECH. And then I'm introducing on line 13 here, G equals string compare that password with TECH. And then on line 14, string compare I equals PWT, uh, PWD uh, compared to uh, TECH. So I go in here and I run this with PWD equal to TECH. And as you can see, F is true because these two are equal. String compare, uh, G is true because uh, they're equal. And string compare, I is true, okay, because they're equal. Now if I change the value of PWD to buzz, then what I get and run it, what I get is um, all of them are false because obviously buzz is not equal to TECH um, in any of these. Um, so, and buzz is the same length as TECH, so that's why um, line 12 doesn't generate an error. So now if I come in here and change buzz to TECHIE or anything that's not the same length as, um, as TECH, now when I run it, Line 12, as you can see, line 12 here gives me an error uh, because it's saying matrix dimensions must agree, meaning that they must be the same length. So to get this to run so I can see what's on line 13 and 14, I will briefly comment out line 12 and then rerun this. And you can see that for both of these, of course, TECHIE is not equal to TECH, and so I get a logical zero for both G and H, lines 13 and 14. Now I come back. Uh, and I'm going to uncomment line 12, and I'm going to put in capital T E C H uh, and run it. And you notice on line 12, it executes now because they're the same length again, but they're not equal, so I get a logical zero. Uh, line 13 it executes, they're not equal, so I get a zero. And line 14, it's ignoring the case, it's case insensitive. And so therefore, those two strings are equal to each other in terms of STR, C, and PI. Um, okay, so that's sort of showing this in a, in a smaller format. Now I'm going to comment this piece out, and then I'm going to go down here and show it in a larger format using these if statements. So let me scroll down here, um, right there. Um, and so I'm going to comment this out. Excuse me, I'm going to uncomment these. And so what I have here is I'm going to set uh, PWD um, as I did before. And I'm going to, in example one here, this is an if statement. It's an example of where you would use this. Imagine if this were a password entered um, into uh, some code or if you're checking to see if a certain value equals something. Um, so I go in here and here I use the equal equal, the all with the equal equal as we did up here before on line 12. And then example two on line 25. I use the string compare um, as we did in line 13 and then here on line 32 I use the string compare I. Once again just to illustrate what the values and the outcomes will be um, if I put it into an if statement. So um, let's see. So with password PWD equal to TECH I run this and you can see that the results of example 1 is true. The results of example two, true, and example three are true. They're all logical ones. Uh, that makes sense because all of these are true. Uh, I come back, I change the value of TECH to BUZZ, buzz, as I did before. Now I run it and all of them are zero because buzz does not equal TECH. I come back, I turn it to a string that's not the same length. So what I expect is to get an error here. Um, which I do. You see I get an error on line 18 and once again matrix dimensions must agree and so they're not agreeing here. So if I comment out this example 1 and then come back and run it, then example 2 and example 3 both are false because tech E does not equal tech. As before I'll come back in here, uncomment this and then change my value of PWD to capital T C H. Uh, and then I run it again 
and you can see the first one is false, the second one is false, but the third one is true because it is ignoring case because it's STRCMPI, which means case insensitive. And so this is an example of how to use uh, the string compare function. It comes in very handy when you're dealing with comparing strings.